just talking about Halloween and the fact that I go out uh, in it can go out in a mask on Halloween and no one you know gives a shit. So right. like I can keep, you know wear a mask and and Heidi was suggesting that I have I go out in like dressed as Harry Potter because no one would suspect that. Right. But I think people would just think Daniel Radcliffe's gone crazy. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, you might. I mean, you could go out as anything, and they'd probably yeah people would probably say that. Uh, in your post Harry Potter career looking at material, picking projects to be a part of. Yeah. What are you looking for as an actor and what was it about this piece that really spoke to you? I mean, I'm, look, I'm always looking for stuff that, um, you know, I, in terms of the script, I'm looking for originality and, um, and obviously a good part and, uh, you know, something for, something for me to, you know, challenge myself with and something that should make me do something new. Um, you know, that's, I suppose, the, the guiding principle. Um, you know, and never to repeat myself. And by that, I don't just refer to Harry Potter. I now like mean the Woman in Black or now Kid of Darlings or whatever. It's, I think any actor worth their salt wants to, you know, keep changing stuff up as much as possible, purely because, or as much as anything else, because it's how we have the most fun doing our jobs. Yeah, uh, this is a very challenging and risky role in many ways. Were you concerned at all about sort of taking that on, taking on that challenge? Um, you know, you know. It, I was definitely aware that when you know the, they were going to anou announce the casting of me as Anna Ginsberg, there was going to be a few people going, "What the hell?" So you know, I was sort of prepared for that, and and you know, I was prepared to sort of, uh, you know, I you know, I can I can deal with that. That's fine because I you know I do like um, you know it's it's it. I can see how other people would not see it as an immediate like casting choice, but like for me, I so identified with the character, and I was like, you know, I can, I can, I, I definitely thought I could do it, and obviously, I knew that there would be a help of a hair and makeup team to make me look like him, um, and so no, I mean, I did. There's obviously a little bit of pressure you feel in portraying a real person because there are so many people out there that love them and that have uh, very you know strong opinions about how they should be portrayed, um, but ultimately, I you know kind of. Took some of the pressure off myself by just, you know, realizing and having, you know, been told by John, our director, you're not playing him as an icon. You're playing him as an 18-year-old going to university for the first time, um, you know, and 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 that definitely, uh, you know, took the the pressure off. And also, there's not really much footage of Alan at this time in his life, so th there was a little. You did have to use a little bit of imagination, you know, yeah. as we all did. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about the relationship between Alan and Lucian, and uh, sort of that? maybe love, betrayal, all those kind of emotions that were going on between the two, two characters. Yeah, I mean, you know, in, in many ways for Alan, it's purely that he was just in love with him. I mean, it's a, it's a much more straightforward answer that you'll get from me than you'll probably get from Dane on this question. Um, you know, Alan met Lucian, and Alan was this guy who was incredibly, um, incredibly bright, obviously, but incredibly confident in his own intellect as well. Um, but none of that confidence really didn't very often spill over into his interactions socially with people, unless they were talking about you know poetry or something he felt very s comfortable on. But Lucian, on the other hand, was comfortable anywhere. You know, he was charismatic. No, no social situation was too big for him, and he was, and 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 you know, he was everything Alan wasn't but wanted to be. And I think that we often fall in love with the qualities in, that other people have that we want in ourselves. And and uh, and that was definitely a case the case I think with Alan and um, and Lou. Um, and then I think, you know, uh, um, ultimately the, the film is about that relationship where you realize that somebody, despite how much you may love them or, or, you know, even if it's not a romantic relationship or love them as a friend, you know, that they are bad news for you and that you have to, you know, cut them off. And it's a, it is a very painful thing. I mean, not everyone has to go through it with a murder, but I think there is some universality in that. I hope not everyone thing. has to go through it with I a murder. I hope not everyone has to go through it with a murder. I didn't have to go through it with a murder, so I'm, I hope I'm not the only one that had that pleasure. Yeah, well, and you're a better man for it. <laughs> it is, so. Yes, absolutely. Daniel, always cool. great talking to you. Thank you Thank so you much. Nice to see you again. Cheers.